Welcome to ONS Energy Talks. My name is Anne Blomberg, and today I have with me Hege Skidiset, Executive Vice President of Kongsberg and CEO of Kongsberg Digital. Welcome. Thank you, Anna. Uh, uh, the topic of today is digitalization as part of the energy transition. But uh, Hege, before we start on today's topic, and I think there's no way we can come around these questions. You know, how has Kongsberg Digital experienced the past year? How has the pandemic affected the demand for digital solutions? I would say it's, it's been a strange year, and uh, I, I assume I share that with uh, everyone else uh, that's uh, been in business for the past uh, year. Uh, but it's uh, also a year, I think, where uh, many companies have seen uh, their vulnerabilities uh, when it comes to the current structures uh, and wanted to, to apply more digital uh, structures uh, to also uh, overcome those uh, vulnerabilities and, and uh, risks. Uh, so uh, what we have experienced is that uh, there is an increasing demand uh, for digital uh, solutions. Uh, and also, I would say, uh, bringing forward uh, more um, solutions uh, in the line of uh, remote uh, operations, increased automation, and also uh, somewhat uh, fully automated uh, solutions. Building on what you just said, you know, we also heard last year Shell announcing that they had signed a framework agreement for the deployment of Kongsberg Digital Twin Solution, Kongdi Twin Energy, to their global portfolio of assets. Now, Hege, I have some questions to you regarding your solution. But before I start asking you, let's see what it's all about. What are the benefits of using your solution for energy producers? So uh, what we have developed here is a digital twin, uh, which is also uh, dynamic uh, when it comes to uh, the ability uh, to operate uh, assets uh, over time uh, remotely uh, and increased automation uh, on the asset itself. Uh, and this is high on the agenda uh, for all of the uh, energy majors at uh, the moment. Uh, it's uh, an opportunity, of course, also uh, to incorporate uh, different uh, type of uh, applications and uh, solutions uh, so that we are uh, somewhat getting the expert functions uh, to work uh, uh, jointly uh, on one uh, platform and one surface uh, across the various uh, uh, functions uh, within uh, an energy company. So meaning, uh, and Shell has stated this very clearly, uh, that this is going to be uh, their working surface uh, of the future. Uh, and then they see it both uh, when it comes to the asset itself, uh, but also the opportunity to get all of the uh, supporting functions and export functions uh, to work on the same uh, type of solution. So a digital twin uh, is basically a true uh, replica on what's going on uh, on board the platform. 
uh, including also uh, the processes uh, that's ongoing uh, and you get uh, the easy access uh, to all of the data points uh, meaning uh, an opportunity to develop applications and, and further um, functionality on top of the tweet. Mm. And how do you then see digitalization contributing to the evolution of responsibilities for oil and gas professionals like production engineers? Uh, I would say it's uh, uh, it's multiple. Uh, so it's uh, um, both when it comes to uh, the carbon uh, footprint, uh, when it comes to risk, uh, when it comes to safety uh, in operations, uh, when it comes to energy uh, management, uh, which is also high on the agenda. Uh, but it's also the basics like uh, uh, being able to work across multiple functions uh, on the twin. Uh, which is of uh, importance. And then it's, of course, uh, for decades, uh, there's been uh, uh, multiple manual processes uh, ongoing, both on the asset itself, but, but also uh, onshore uh, when it comes to uh, monitoring uh, and looking into decision points, etc., uh, benchmarking the different assets uh, uh, of uh, equal type towards each other. Uh, so all of these functionalities is uh, somewhat enabled uh, through the data stream of the digital twin. And from, uh, from oil and gas, if we now look at digitalization and the energy transition, what is the connection between digitalization and sustainability? And how do you see yourself working to enable the energy transition? It's a very good question. Uh, I must uh, definitely say that uh, I see digital as a key enabler uh, also uh, when it comes to energy transition, uh, both for the existing assets uh, when it comes to reducing uh, carbon uh, footprint, uh, but also when it comes to connecting uh, green energy sources uh, towards existing uh, assets. Uh, and then again, uh, it's also vital and important uh, when we are moving towards uh, electrification, uh, where we also need uh, to accommodate on, on the grids, um, the ability to actually take in uh, new energy sources. Uh, so we have also uh, developed uh, a digital twin uh, that we uh, will uh, launch to market uh, during uh, this uh, half uh, year, uh, which is... Uh, uh, cognitive in the grid, uh, which is uh, focusing on balancing and flexibility within grids. Uh, and then uh, I think uh, when you're looking at uh, wind farms uh, and especially offshore uh, wind farms, uh, there's also a need uh, to be able to extract the data um, uh, and uh, to utilize uh, application functionality uh, there. Uh, similar uh, to geothermal, uh, to hydrogen uh, and also to solar. Uh, so what we what we see is that uh, as of now uh, there are some players um, positioning themselves as pure uh, uh, new energy uh, players, uh, but we also see uh, the big majors, uh, uh, the energy companies, uh, taking uh, quite substantial positions in this. Uh, so it's interesting to see how uh, this landscape is going to look like in uh, one to two years. Uh, but uh, I am high believe uh, when it comes to the big measures like Shell, etc. They just recently announced their new strategy, which is very clear around uh, this direction. Yeah, so it looks to me you'll be able to work, uh, what should I say, in all fields, uh, in every area. But then, uh, then I have a last question for you. You know, the digital revolutions, it represents a great shift in trust. And in tech, we trust for now. And what do you think it's required to keep it this way? Um, when you're talking about uh, trust, it's, uh, it's natural uh, to bring forward uh, cybersecurity. Uh, it, it's critical uh, to have good uh, structures in place. Uh, and not only uh, from a uh, um, solution standpoint, but also uh, within the development uh, organization. Uh, so, so uh, cybersecurity is, is uh, of essence, I think, into this, and uh, we take that very seriously. Uh, so that's uh, a key element into everything uh, that we do. Uh, and then you have uh, a wide variety when it comes to how you're going to uh, operate and how you're going to um, 
secure uh, both the people and, and assets into this, uh, which I think is also uh, taken well into consideration. Uh, and just to follow up on, uh, on your, uh, your last point, uh, I would say that uh, uh, if you look at the, the technology, it's, it's often uh, generic solutions uh, that could go uh, across uh, multiple um, different industries or segments within industries. Uh, and that's been our focus from the beginning uh, to really ensure uh, that we have uh, generic technology to build upon. Uh, so that the digital twin can be applied uh, easy uh, towards both the new energy sources, uh, the existing uh, majors on, on uh, oil and gas, uh, but also uh, on two grids. So you can have one holistic solution across all of them. Well, thank you uh, very much, uh, Hege Skuset, for sharing your insight and your thoughts with us. Uh, it's been a really great pleasure. And thank you to all the listeners of ONS Energy Talks. Thank you, Anna.